Hello. <coughs> Hello? Hello again. <laughs> yes. Hello again and again and again. <laughs> Fancy you being here. Yes. Yes, I mean, the chances of you and me both being here at exactly the same time must be about eight billion to one. <laughs> yes. Yes, I reckon this was meant to happen. I think this was doomed to occur. It's all written down in the great book of fate, in horrible pink squidgy writing. <laughs> I was meant to be here, you were meant to be here, and here you are. Yes, here we are. <clears throat> here we are, as you so rightly point out. Well, now you're here, what are you going to do about it? Nothing, I just like to read the newspaper. Oh, you just like to sit and read the newspaper? Yes. Is there anything interesting in it? I don't know, I haven't read it yet. Oh, well, you wouldn't know if there's anything interesting in it, would you? If you haven't, if you haven't even read it yet, you wouldn't have a clue what's in it, interesting or not. I read quite an interesting thing in a newspaper a few days ago. Apparently, Anita Ekberg has set up this hamburger stand in Rome. That's quite interesting, isn't it? Not really. I found it very interesting indeed, thank you very much. I mean, one moment she's up on the silver screen, 50 yards wide. The next moment she's peddling Big Macs on the Via Veneto. <laughs> Are you an Ekberg fan? No. No, you're not an Eckberg fan. You're more of the type to enjoy Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> yes, I do like Audrey Hepburn. Of course you do. You're the type, I can tell it in your eyes, who goes for elfin beauties. I prefer huge, mountainous women <laughs> who wobble when they breathe. <laughs> That's what I go for. Well, I don't. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? We won't start bickering about our women folk. <laughs> you can have the thin, elfin ones, and I'll go for the huge, mountainous, wobbly ones. <laughs> it's a deal. Yes, it is a deal. What about Shelley Winters? What about Shelley Winters? Well, is she mine or yours? I know. <laughs> I mean, she's a bit too slim for me, but she's probably a bit too plump for you. We could toss for her. You can have her. <laughs> That's very kind of you indeed. Of course, Liz Taylor is going to be a bit of a dilemma, isn't she? She's very up and down. <laughs> One moment she's elfin, the next second she's ballooned up to 103 stone. <laughs> but she's elfin at the moment. So you can have Liz. All right. Thank you. I've got Liz and yes. Audrey. You've got Shelley and Anita, OK? Perfectly now, all right. Now, I'd just like to read my newspaper. Of course you would. Of course, Shelley looked enormous in the Poseidon adventure when she was <laughs> all underwater with the clothes billowing around her. <laughs> I think what would be fair would be if I had Shelley underwater <laughs> and you took care of her on dry land. Very well. Am I boring you? Yes, as a matter of fact, you are. I thought I was. I I'm very perceptive that way, you know. It's, it's, it's almost a psychic gift. I I I've got this uncanny knack of knowing what's going to happen. Then I dare say you know what's in the offing. Oh, yes, I just have to shut my eyes and I'll be able to see it all. Furly newspaper with a tetchy look on his face. He begins to beat man relentlessly about the head. <laughs> I didn't foresee it being quite as hard as that. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, thank you very much for the paper. Give my love to Audrey. <laughs> Let's see. Good grief. Awful man in Macken Trilby, sought by Swedish police. <laughs> I didn't see that coming.